गिटार ड्रम्स लाइव म्यूजिक एंड लॉर ऑफ स्टेज ड्रामा जूम पहुंचा है एट अल्जेरिया फेस्टिवल इन पिलाई कॉलेज जहां वी आर कैप्चरिंग अ डे इन द लाइफ ऑफ अ रॉक स्टार His body, okay. Back, His smile, okay. Six pack, six pack. Well, yes, the rock star himself, Farhan Akhtar, whose live concert was exclusively captured by Zoom, ne, right from his practice sessions to his vanity and his concert, Zoom followed him everywhere. There's so much energy here already in this college festival. The reason, obviously, being Farhan Akhtar. No, the concert hasn't started yet, but we can still feel this energy. And there he's on stage practicing. So let's check it out. Farhan ke rigorous practice sessions ke baad aaye ab baat karte hain unki band member Shannon se. So as you hear the sound check is still on but I am with this beautiful singer with a be- more beautiful voice um who's going to obviously rock the stage tonight. Um uh, how was the practice? I mean I saw Farhan was a little disruptive while you were singing. No, he's he's always like that. Yeah. We're always having fun during sound check which is part of the whole act and everything but uh, hopefully we have a good crowd tonight and the sound is perfect thanks to Ashish. Well, we too hope that the crowd is maddening here. लेकिन उससे पहले let's go inside the vanity van of this rock star to know how he's prepping up for this concert. Okay, I had to literally drag him out from the crowd because everybody wants a piece of the rock star, of course. Um, a lot of practice was going on uh, with uh, a lot of serious laughter coming out from inside. So, uh, but it's always That's a lot. That's what we're going to do on stage: is laugh for about 90 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> In tune. In tune. <laughs> Up and down, all, all the tunes. Uh, but um, on that note, you know, I'm sure you've mentioned it before. Um, it must be crazy to perform on live when you have people cheering for you. But also, do you have the fear that you might miss the note somewhere? Um, you know, I I don't know. Some kind of uh, some gear kicks in. Okay. You know, when you're on stage, mm-hmm. and uh, honestly, things just flow. Um, if at all there are any nerves, it's it's just before uh, the concert starts mm-hmm. where you're. just kind of running through everything in your mind but uh, once you're up there i mean then it's everything anything goes you know i mean it's um, it's a lot of fun um you know a lot of uh, singers opt for um, uh, lip syncing on stage mm. uh, but you i think usually you don't prefer that um, is it isn't no, it it's, um, it's a risk don't you think so i i don't know whether it's a risk or not and to each their own but i mean i don't like lip syncing on stage you never you never tried it all right Um I was just talking to your band one of your band I was talking to actually um you know one of your band members who was singing with you on stage and she was telling me how interesting lot of interesting things happen a mic fell on your head and you still yeah. pretend that nothing happened a lot of things like that happen right Um I mean yeah things can happen I mean one concert where I was jumping around and by mistake I um I tripped over Sarosh's guitar cable and his cable came off and he couldn't play anymore so then somebody else had to come in and start filling it while the cable was being we have been frantically looking for it right. so things like this happen but uh, i mean it's all a part of the of the experience you can't do anything about it just enjoy it have a good time make up for it somehow or the other crack a joke about it involve the audience <laughs> and and make the serious face like nothing happened to you even if it's peening right yeah like blood dripping on everyone it's not it's just a part of that yeah it's a special <laughs> night <laughs> On that note, also, how seriously do you take yourself as a singer? Uh, well, I uh, sing as seriously as I possibly can. Uh, how serious? I don't know how much more serious I can be, you know, than that. Um, I, I think it's important to respect the audience. Most importantly, you know, you have to respect them. Uh, they've come here. They really want to be entertained. They want to hear the songs, and they want to hear the songs played and sung well. You know, so that's a given. Uh, so for that, whatever needs to be done in terms of time with the band, rehearsing at home, all of that does happen. Uh, like you know Pranger took it like a step and took out a solo album and said have you have you given that kind of a thought to it like one day you know um i will do that and probably sit down and figure out write my own proper album and like a solo album and all that have you ever thought of it um i mean it's it's an eventuality i think that that is uh, very apparent to me that would happen at some point in life okay um i don't i don't know when you know i really have my hands very full with all the film work that's going on and, there was. and this is and this truly would be um a project that would take up a lot of my time you know and i would want to give it that kind of time you know happily uh, so i don't want to do it half baked i don't want to do it in half measures uh, whenever i do decide that okay now the time has come for me to do it then i'll have to stop doing many other things that i'm doing currently so this fills in right now as my outlet for um, just 
putting music out there you know to share with people or sharing the music with them the joy of music but eventually there i i do think there will be an album yes well great um you know a lot of people pick up a lot of expressions from rock stars on the stage whether it's a little bit of gimmicks and actions and you know a little bit of those those noises that they make on stage a lot of uh, those little things that they do whether it's with the guitar or you know putting the guitar there like this and throwing the guitar um have you ever planned something ki aaj na to make that feel i'll do that have you planned anything like that no no not really not really um i i think the closest i've ever come to doing that uh was actually in rock on hmm. uh at the end of the socha hai song you know where the song ended and we did like a little axel rose like a yamsa you know that's that's completely guns and roses Correct. you know so that was the closest just to pay my respects uh, to him but uh, beyond that on stage no honestly there there really is no plan you know yeah. you just uh, go there and and surrender yourself to everything that's going to happen okay you've said that you've not attended too many classes but does that mean you were jamming with your friends or does that mean you're doing something else completely at the time um Well I've been I've been playing guitar for since I was about 17 or 18 you know and kind of singing along sure. with that um I only really started doing it a lot more seriously when I started training for rock on sure. um to sing those songs um and since then um I've been I really have given it a lot more time than I did prior to it uh, that I have and now with the way things are with the band uh, with um, just Uh, this feeling that that music is evoking something inside of me of wanting to create and wanting to do more um i think my responsibility will be a lot more to it to to put a lot more effort into to working and honing skills further and further sure you know rock on was completely different i'm not talking about that movie but we've always seen a lot of movies where they the hero has the guitar and probably is doing doing some kind of an action on the guitar and not play, actually yeah. playing it that's true Right. Yes. Um, um. You know. Now, when you see it, do you give your typical Farhan Akhtar a satirical look and laugh at it, or no, not at all. I I think anyone who knows anything about music, and I think even film people. Yeah. I mean, if you speak to them, I mean, even they'll tell you, "Yeah, you know, guitar they they don't know what to do." <laughs> you know, that's. I mean, it was for the longest time. I, there are very few people, I think, in the in the history of film who really looked like they were playing sure. the musical instrument that they were handed. Absolutely. Like I think, for example, Mr. Rishi Kapoor in Sargam. really looked like he was playing yeah, that duffly you sure. know and i think i i think that's i probably a family trait because raj ji before him used to look like he was playing the piano or playing that uh, accordion yeah. you know so um they definitely had it down but there's been many uh, actors and actresses you know since who play an entire solo just on the last <laughs> string you know right. and stuff like that so i mean for people who know i mean it's it's always a little bit of it's it is a bit funny Absolutely. Do you like the female tension you get when you're on stage? Do you get the rock star feeling with female shout? Yeah, Farhan. No, I mean it's a mixture of male and female voices. Let's okay. not just single out the female voices. <laughs> But I mean, you know, okay. Fine. But uh, <laughs> no, I mean, honestly, I mean, I'm just, ha- I'm, I just love the fact that they are having fun. Sure. That to me is the the greatest high while I'm on stage. Sure. Is when you look out and you see happy faces, mm-hmm. you know, and those happy faces are singing along with you, sure. you know, and they're they're kind of. prompting you to sing a song which is probably coming up to three songs later but they want to hear it now <laughs> yeah. you know and all that stuff that's what i enjoy i mean this this great energy to be exchanged with a live crowd thank you so much farhan all the very best i'm sure you're excited to go and perform live now all the very best and all the best to your band and of course we are all excited to see him perform live thank you so much once again for him i'm sure all you farhan akhtar fans are going to be super jealous now because i have this very sweet girl priyanka am i right priyanka yes priyanka with me who's been waiting for quite some time and i promised i'm going to make a meet for her So I'm obviously sure you're pretty excited. Oh, wow, I'm very excited. What's the first thing you're going to do when you meet him? I'll hug him, tightly hug him. Priyanka, Priyanka, I'm a big fan of yours. Can you give him a hug? Can you give him a hug? Do something that you want to tell him. You met him. Tell him. I just want to say two lines. Dedicate you two lines. Tum ho to gata hai dil. Tum nahi to geet ka. फरहान ने अपने फैन की विश तो पूरी कर ली बट जरा इन विजुअल पर भी ध्यान दीजिए इवन रॉक स्टार फील्स द जिटर्स बिफोर हिस्स परफॉर्मेंस Lights, camera, and action. Farhan reached the stage, but and boy, he did set the stage on fire with his exhilarating energy. That is Farhan Akhtar's performance. 
was it satisfying as you thought it would be? I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> well, I, if that's the question, oh, yeah. that's the answer, well, I am totally satisfied. There was Farhan Akhtar for you giving the most electrifying performance here. The crowd went mad and you saw what the energy here is. Well, that's how a rock star lives it. Yudrani Chatraj with camera person Hari and Parish.